Hi, I keep getting asked as to why fountain pen. People keep asking me well, what's so special about fountain pens and uh, more importantly why are people like us so fanatically crazy about fountain pens uh, even why we are trying to ensure that our future generations pick up the fountain pen and write with them. This video is basically about me trying to tell you as to why we believe that the fountain pen has the answers. The first reason why uh, we suggest that you use a fountain pen is that a fountain pen is perhaps the most sustainable writing option that there is. As opposed to a use and throw dot pen, a fountain pen is kind of forever. This pen, for example, belonged to my father. I am using it and I'm hopeful that someday my son will be using it. But a dot pen, you just write and you throw it away, which ends up in, uh, you know, choking our riverine systems, our drainage systems, and ultimately ending up in our landfills and in the seabed, which adds to the pollution. Number one. Number two, there's a huge amount of carbon footprint that is created by these dot pens, which of course a fountain pen and ink does not. So a fountain pen is the most sustainable writing option and for every one of us who's concerned about global warming and climate change and things like that, I think the least we can do is to pick up a fountain pen. That's number one. Number two it is a fact that writing with a fountain pen gives you a huge, huge amount of pleasure which no other instrument can give you, you know. Just keying in stuff in a computer or uh, writing with a dot pen or a gel pen or a ballpoint pen or whatever or a pencil even cannot give you the kind of pleasure that you derive when you see the words dancing out all on the paper almost as though uh, your thoughts are being translated into the paper and uh, are being saved for posterity. So the fountain pen gives you a huge amount of pleasure. Number three, and uh, probably they're related, is that a fountain pen, you know, when you write with a fountain pen, it acts as a catharsis. All the pent up feelings inside you, all uh, the squalor, the dirt, the problems of everyday life, they kind of come out, they kind of find a release when you write with a fountain pen. And uh, a fountain pen, uh, when we were kids, you know, we were encouraged to write whatever we were learning. We used to take notes, copious notes at that in classrooms. And we also used to write down things. Naturally, and I've, I came to know about this much later, and uh, friends in the acad world of academia, they tell me, that when you are writing, it actually helps you retain the knowledge better. So, uh, I mean, it's true for all writing, but I believe that when you write with a fountain pen, you retain the knowledge better. So it uh, kind of helps in the purpose of, uh, you know, your uh, process of studying. And uh, I believe that uh, if you write as you study it helps you retain the knowledge better and it's uh, it's it's therefore a knowledge aid uh, there's another reason why the fountain pen is of so immense importance especially in uh, this post pandemic era or uh, this period it is because the fountain pen has emerged as one of the most potent tools to fight against depression. You know, most of our children, uh, a, a huge, huge number of our children who were forced indoors uh, during the pandemic-induced uh, lockdown, they were away from their schools, they were away from their friends, 
they were locked down in uh, uh, enclosed spaces with uh, no other uh, kind of uh, release or no other uh, uh, no other relation with uh, humans so and they were forced to, uh, to a digital world where they were overwhelmed digitally and kind of digitally damned now this has led to a kind of a depression where you know they were exposed to the people talking about loss of lives about loss of uh, uh, employment about financial problems the their parents uh, uh, the problem of their parents uh, seeped into their young minds and many of them are really very disturbed now i am not a qualified psychologist to be talking about it but mota mota overall uh, what i feel is that most children are challenged and to overcome this challenge one of the best means is a fountain pen give them a fountain pen let them sketch let them doodle let them write let them write poems let them draw let them do whatever they feel like but the fountain pen can be used as a means to fight depression to help our children overcome this problem and this is not uh, essentially true only for children it's true for adults also many young adults many young people many people of my age are um, using a fountain pen to overcome the problems of life to overcome their depression to overcome the darkness and look towards the light the fountain pen is an intellectual source of illumination and uh, i will request all of you to try it to try using a fountain pen try writing with a fountain pen try overcoming your problems at least address your problems face them and i'm sure that together you me and the fountain pen and a bottle of ink together uh, we can win we can overcome we can emerge victorious you know i can go on and on and on because i am a fanatic i have been collecting fountain pens for 30 years now so and i'm i'm emotionally attached to my pens married to my pens if you want to put it that way but uh, i won't be taking your time anymore what i want to say is one of the reasons why you should consider writing with a fountain pen or uh, picking up the hobby of uh, you know collecting fountain pens because it's uh, a cheap relatively cheap uh, hobby where uh, if you look at these pens these pens are made in india they are uh, very attractively priced and they write beautifully trust me they write beautifully so uh, what i'm trying to say it's a very healthy hobby it's a very uh, whole some kind of a hobby that you can encourage your children or you can yourself take up because th there's a huge world of fountain pen lovers around the uh, globe they are mostly connected uh, these days where they are uh, talking about they are constantly talking about new pens uh, their acquisitions their experiences and they are very helpful Uh, so uh, they will uh, uh, help you channel your uh, extra time or uh, your energies in a gainful way towards a hobby that's healthy and wholesome and very potent uh, so i believe more than anything else if you forget about all the pleasures of writing and uh, you know your contribution uh, to reverse the ill effects of global warming or to fight depression or whatever i mean uh, if you give up everything if if you just pick up fountain pens as a hobby and you collect them and you write with them and you spend your time uh, you know looking after them or uh, you spend your time with them i think that itself is uh, well worth it and finally i will uh, say only one more thing at the end of the day everything said and done uh, 
a fountain pen is also a conversation starter. When I uh, go to a, a meeting or when I uh, pick out a pen and I start writing with a pen, and people say, oh, you use a fountain pen? And, uh, and they, they, they come to, to, to me and it's a, uh, it's a kind of an icebreaker, it's a kind of a conversation starter which uh, is also very positive but uh, that also is not uh, the one reason why you should use a fountain pen because you know so many people they tell me that a fountain pen is today like an accessory it's like a watch it's like uh, like an accessory it's a part of your uh, your overall get up your image and uh, it's, it, it, it communicates so many things about you without you having to say it out aloud. So that's another point. But uh, I think at the end of the day, why I use a fountain pen is because I love writing with it. And uh, you know, I am a writer. I write for a living. It's, uh, today is May a day, and it's coincidental but uh, the fact is I am also a worker. I am a worker with words. We string words. We, uh, we are wordsmiths and there are times when, uh, when you are writing you face something called a mental block and uh, a fountain pen believe me helps me overcome my mental block and I am sure it will help you overcome yours also because it's not the same thing as keying it in in a mobile phone or in a uh, you know in your computer or a laptop where uh, you key in without having the feelings without uh, your uh, your uh, uh, fingertips cannot uh, give you the kind of pleasure or give you the kind of connect with your thoughts the way uh, writing with a fountain pen does I hope uh, I've been able to communicate my points well and I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing this video. Thank you so much. Do uh, join us again for more episodes. But more than anything else and finally if I have to, before I bid adieu, I will have only one request. Please use a fountain pen. Thank you.